let's bring Rebecca on since she's yeah. get her out of the chat here. He will talk about So P. P. P stands for phonograph, not publishing. So what that means is it's the compositions of the song on your single or album and the song itself. So who owns the copyright to that? Is the P line. To the sound recording. To the sound recording. Not the underlying composition. Totally. So if you're doing a cover, the copyright owner of the phonograph, the actual sound, is you. It's not the original publisher of your cover song. And it's always important to put the year in there. So that tells us when was this copyright established. So what I don't want to put here is Sony Music. I don't want to put a record label unless they own the copyright to my recording. And uh, the name that you put there is the owner of the copyrighted sound recording. So that's going to almost always be your artist name, or if you're on a label, then the label name. The C line is the complete package of the release, right? Right. So what does that include? For our uses, it includes the metadata and your artwork. So that's the whole package. It's really easy to format this correctly. Typically, you're going to put the same thing in the P and C lines if you own both. That's the vast majority of time. You're just going to put current year, artist name, current year, artist name. Bada boom, bada bing, moving on. So that's what it will look like when you're done. Rebecca, you know what that is? Is that good info? Yes. Yeah. <laughs>